Well, hello there again. Today's Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. L lose the days of the week, sonny. Don't know which Saturday, Sundays, or whatever. Every day's the same at the moment, but stay alert, stay safe, it'll be all right. And it's handsome weather, no doubt about it. Now, this year one's about our little cat. See my cat there by the gate when you come in, did he? We had some caper here this week, I tell you. He all started when Jack said he thought he, she was looking a bit thin. I know you can't take much notice of that, because cats are up and down, aren't they? But I must admit I thought she was looking a bit wished. Jack said perhaps we got she got worms. I seen her out chewing up a mouse or someone in the garden last week. You know what she's like for fur on them. She didn't have anything that move. Well, I have to get through tablets from the vet. Off he goes up the vet and come on with this here tablets. Now, they weren't very big. But try telling that the cat that. She's awful for taking anything. We'd always have a job with her. She'd have to take one a day for three days, so I wasn't looking forward to it. She's a dear old thing, really. I wouldn't say boo to a goose normally. But try putting a tablet in her. And good night, she'll have you and quicker than a darn. We've tried always, but she don't like the idea at all. Anyhow, cut a long story short, with a bit of effort and scratched hands, and we managed to get the job done. Well, Jack was up to the vet. He had a word with him about a flea collar. We don't generally see anything on her, but just in case, we did put a collar on her up in the summer months. Anyhow, the vet persuaded Jack to try one of these here flea, flea sprays. He said he thought they'd work better. Well, we thought and tried anything once. And after we gave her a good brush, we started to spray the stuff on. The poor cat jumped feet. She wasn't used to nothing like that. She flied out of that cat flap and took up off the garden like a rocket. You couldn't see her for dust. I thought myself, we've been and gone and done it now. That's the last we sh we'll see of her. We went up the garden calling, me screeching, but I believe she thought we was going to do it again and she wasn't nowhere in sight. <laughs> Jack said, Dussie, worry about yourself up. She'll be back directly when she won her tea. I hope so, I said. I hope she'd have come in for dark. She don't usually stay out at night. Sure enough, just as we was getting a bit dim, we heard the cat flap go on there as she was. I so glad to see her. She must have forgot all about him. She come rubbing round, rubbing round my legs just like she belonged to. When I picked her up, she was purring like a stamps. Come as here, my handsome, I said. Don't hurry yourself. I want I want to do that no to a no more. Come as on and have your supper. So that was that. Only trouble is now when I'd a use a bit of air spray or spray on a bit furniture polish, She'd go air like a kite, but I expect she'll forget it in time. Now this little one's a little poem. I know I've said them four, but I do like it. I must have been, and I'm, you know, it's been a week or two since I've said this one. Drastic measures, this is called. Sorry, boy, I'm sick, said Jan. My blummin' head is thumping. I suppose a man as old as me shouldn't go for bungee jumping. But it started out by accident, in Newlyn of all places. Coming home from pub, I missed the bridge, and hung up there on my braces. Well, as I dangled up and down, I was feeling quite elated. Tis like this, as though your your aches and pains are all elasticated. So the next weekend I tried again, with a crane from Harry Deebles. But I bounced too high and went around the jib, like wool around knit and needles. Of course, the boys all laughed till they were sore. So I said I'll bet a tenner. With a bit of practice through the week, I can do the clips up zenner. Now, as you know, with all these things, tis down to preparation. So I took command of setting up with the utmost calculation. And on the day the crowd was hushed, then whoosh, and I was dropping. And down and down and all was well until it came to stopping. I tell you, boy, I hit the sand like a human um, armadillo and tunneled 30 feet or more till bedrock formed a pillow. It was while my bones were being set with my arms and legs in plaster 
that I had the time to ruminate on the cause of my disaster. And then one day I worked it out. It was Europe's interference. The weights and measures men it was who dented my appearance. Because I never had quite come to terms with these kilograms and litres. See, I measured up the cliff in yards, but they sold me the rope in metres. Thanks very much.